If your Xbox has three red lights, I'm going to show you how to fix it. My name's Doc, and I'm going to save you 100 bucks. I recommend only doing this if your system's out of warranty, because uh, Microsoft will fix it for free if it's within your warranty period. Otherwise, if it's outside the warranty, I'll show you how to fix it right now. All I ask from you is you play on my poker site on the side in the description. Just click on the link, go play for free, have fun. All right, here we go. First thing you want to do, turn it off. Next thing you want to do is take off the uh, faceplate. To do that, there's a notch up here on the top. Show them the, so show them the notch, Wyatt. See this notch? It comes right off. Next step is you want to remove these uh, shields. You stick a flathead or Phillips in there that's small. Kind of pull up on it as you push push in the little clips. It comes right up. I'm not using very much pressure and it came right off. Next, do the other side. That's where the hard drive was. Make sure the hard drive is off as well. Might be thinking, why am I wearing a mask? Well, I thought it'd be funny. That's why. Just go play some poker on my website when this is all done. That's all I have. Click the link. Alright. Now that's done. You got an Xbox. The shield's removed and no front plate on it, alright? You got that, Wyatt? Correct. Now, starting with the power side here. Show them this, Wyatt. Get in here. You want to be pulling apart as you do this. So take your hand and kind of pry it. There's little clips inside here. You see those, Wyatt? See these little holes right here? You got those? Yep. Stick it in there and pry open. As you do it, it's a little release system in there. So it should come right open. There you go, like that. See that? See how I can open it? There's more of them down here. Show them those ones, Wyatt. Just push them all in. Spread it as you go. Ta da! Magic. Alright. Now flip it up on the end, and you got some clips here, right? They just open like that. You see that, Wyatt? <laughs> now I'm going to avoid the warranty. See this sticker? I'm going to avoid the warranty on this one. Who cares? Microsoft should not have made them so crappy when we wouldn't have these issues. It comes off just like that. Easy, right? Now. I want to take a number 10 Torx. I just happen to have mine on a screw gun. Move all these long screws. There's six of them. Get in here and show them why. Not too close, man. Six of them, right? Remove, don't lose them. Can't get back. So once you remove these six screws, they hold the case on. Don't lose them. Let's stick mine right there. All right. So now I'm going to take off the top. But first, you want to take off the uh, DVD button here. It just pops right off, like that. It's real easy. Just pry it off. Once that's off, you can pull the whole thing apart, just like that. Careful, the hard drive doesn't fall out when you do that. All right, so now you got your system here. Go ahead and get a look at that. And first things first, pull out your uh, CD-ROM. Lift straight up. Unplug it, and you take it out. See there? All right, set it to the side. We don't need it for this fix. Now what you want to do is you want to take out this air duct. Lift right out. Okay, it's simple. Set it to the side. Then you want to take out the fan. Fan and just pull forward, lift up a little bit maybe. This one's a little tighter than most of them. Pulls forward. And once you clear the metal, 
pull it up, unclip it, and pull it out. Voila, magic. No more fan. All right, next thing I do, I'm gonna blow it out. Get rid of some dust here. You can buy these things in any computer store. That one's from Costco. They're like six for 13 bucks. Blow it out real good. Now you wanna blow out all the uh, USB ports. Video port. Basically blow it all out. Probably this fan's dusty. Yeah, it's real dusty. Blow it out. So once you get this thing all blowed out, get your fan blowed out. Flip it upside down. Well, first you want to take off the front piece here. It takes number eight Torx. That's what I use. Just pull this front piece off. First you pull this plastic piece off actually. Comes right off. It's got an arrow on it, so you know what side is up. Remember, all I'm asking you to do is go visit my poker site, go play for free. You don't even have to spend any money, just go have fun. It's on me. I'll even give you a bonus. Go click that link and play free poker. That's all I'm asking to show you how to fix this Xbox. There's only three of these, three, three Torx uh, screws here. They're the exact same ones that are on the bottom, so they're interchangeable. But once you get those out, this thing pulls right off. It's just a USB or some kind of weird connection. But anyway, pull that off. Don't lose it. Stick it with this piece. They go together. Flip it upside down. You got a bunch more screws to take out. Um, it's the number 10 Torx. Pulls these out. Pull the rest of these uh, silver screws out. Silver colored screws. I'd be thinking, why am I wearing a mask? I thought I'd make a better tutorial if I wore a mask. That's why I'm wearing a mask. Wyatt's wearing a mask too, but you can't see Wyatt. So I just removed nine screws. These are the shorter ones. Don't confuse them with the other ones. All right, I'll stick it in here. Stick my other screws in there so you don't lose them. Keep your screws in one place. And you'll thank me later. Taking out the 10 Torx and put in the 8 Torx. I have a clutch on this. I have the clutch set to the lowest power so you don't strip it. So you're removing the rest of these screws around the X's. There's 8 of them. Set them with your other screws. Those are 11 black little screws there. Now your motherboard will come right out. Alright. So now I got your mother 